going on people it's the xbox 448 and guys today we are talking xbox e3 leaks and i gotta give a huge shout out to my boy predator h2o's you know he is a panel member on the next podcast he is an active uh gamer in the twitter community and he sent me a link to this website uh called GamePod. now I, I will put the link in the description below, but it talks about, you know, possible, uh, you know, E3, uh, Xbox games and stuff to be announced at, you know, Xbox's, um, on Xbox's stage, uh, June 10th. Now, with this, they have, uh, two lists. They have games in 2018 and games in 2019. I want to say what games they're talking about here, and then I want to, you know, kind of give some of my thoughts on, on some of the possible games and whatnot, but I will... Let you guys know, take this with a grain of salt, these are rumors, and, and the information that's on this article, they actually got it from a website called 4chan, or 4chan, so I, I know a lot of people know what 4chan is, and, and that's another reason why I say take this with a grain of salt, but um, not only that, before we get into the list of games, they are saying uh, different things in, in terms of features and, and different like hardware to buy. Or that they're gonna announce um, at E3 this year. Now, I know a lot of people, you know I've been talking about VR when it comes to the Xbox One X. That This article doesn't say anything about VR when it comes to Xbox. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind as well. But they did talk about the new Elite controller kind of like being unveiled uh, at this year's E3. Um, for people who know, you follow my channel, there there was kind of like a patent out there uh, for Xbox when it comes to a new Elite controller. Um, I know Jez Corden from Windows Central talked about it as well. Uh, being able to switch out the, the triggers, uh, you know, changing up the R trigger, the, the right and left triggers on, on the new Elite controller or whatnot. And you do know, uh, kind of like my displeasure when it comes... <clears throat> To the elite controller to begin with uh there are some kind of like i would call them defunct uh buttons such as the bumpers and whatnot on the the first elite controller and i believe they need a redesign on the elite controller um to to kind of like take care of those issues uh whether it was the rubber peeling off or, or the the left bumper right bumper uh buttons not working they need they needed to do something and a redesign sounds like it'll be right down that alley now the second thing is new xbox one x colors now if you don't like a uh, a black console if you want a, a different color i believe they're going to announce um new colors to the xbox one x which kind of makes sense I, I i believe this um this could definitely be possible because like i said before we are dealing with rumors here but let's get into what you guys want to hear and that is games we'll start off with the 2018 list now first off forza horizon 4 um set in japan on game pass uh you know on release date um coming fall of this year I, I think everybody is pretty much assuming that's going to happen. Uh, Starfield, which is a game developed by Bethesda that we're, we're just starting to learn about now. And the way Bethesda, like, they do things is they said that they're going to unveil the game at E3 this year. And, and I, I'm feeling the same way they did with Fallout 4, where they unveiled it at E3 and then it came out that year. Um, they're going to do the same thing with, with this new IP. And... Um, I guess, you know, this this 4chan information in this article states that it's going to be shown on Xbox's stage. So that's that's interesting right there. Um, Scream Ride 2 is going to be unveiled and come out this year. Going to be unveiled at E3 and come out this year. Now, I know there are some people that didn't like the first Scream Ride. I thought it was too expensive for what it was. There was there was certain issues, certain things that could be done. I thought there was potential in this game, and it's good to see a sequel coming out. So hopefully, it, they go through and they they make this game um, more than what the first one was, and possibly for cheaper. Is what I'm hoping. Either that, or they have to add a lot more content than they did in the first Scream Ride. Um, then we hit, you know, more things that we kind of know about. Crackdown 3, you know, in Game Pass, day and date. Um, uh, let's see, multiplayer beta, 
uh, and then 2018 season is what it states here. So I'm not I'm not sure if they're saying that the multiplayer beta will be out this year and uh, Crackdown will possibly be delayed until 2019. Although in the 2019 list, they don't have the game Crackdown. So maybe the beta will come out like around E3 and then the game will launch during um, the fall of, of 2018. I, I don't know. It's it's pretty interesting. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, with which has a marketing deal with Xbox, gameplay demo, uh, Xbox Game Pass, and it will release fall of this year. Uh, I don't think that's a big surprise. Sea of Thieves, uh, new content trailer, Xbox Game Pass. Um, and, and I think what they're going to do here, if they do show Sea of Thieves on their stage, they're just going to really show the new content, the new enemies, the new uh, possibly sea monsters and stuff like that. I'm not sure if it necessarily needs or even kind of like deserves that. I, I want E3 to really focus on new things and we've seen Sea of Thieves time and time again when it comes to Xbox's E3. But then again, it would also be interesting to see the new content before it comes out. Um, then Ashen. The more and more I see of this game, Ashen, the more and more I, I really want to get my hands on this game and play this game. It's going to release in 2018. Uh, the Last Night, which is going to be available on Game Pass, released this year. Um, I believe that's kind of that, that quasi 8-bit uh, indie title. So that, that's... That, that one's kind of interesting to me. I'm not a big fan of 8-bit, but they have like more stylized backgrounds and stuff like that. So it, it's it's an interesting title. I, I would I don't think I would get it day one. I would need to see more about it. Possibly uh, watch a couple you know chunks of the game and, and see if it's something I can get into or not. Um, Below, which is said to come out this year, uh, for if 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 you haven't been following like Xbox One news since 2013, Below was uh, announced way back at the launch of the Xbox One. And I have gone on record saying that it's been way too long. I have like no interest in this game anymore. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I would not pick it up at least day one. But the more and more I see it, it does, it does look like an interesting uh, uh, smaller title. It, it has that kind of like original Zelda feel looking over the top, you know, looking from the top down on your character, um, progressing through through mazes and dungeons, dungeons and stuff like that. So it, it looks interesting. I just, it, to me, I've waited so long that it doesn't even matter to me anymore. Of course, Madden. Um, which has, you know, marketing rights with Xbox. We're going to see that on their stage. Uh, Minecraft, a, a content update supposed to be released of fall this year. I know they're supposed to put out that um, kind of like super graphics update where they improve the lighting, the way the water looks, stuff like that on the Minecraft game itself. Something I've been excited for. But then again, that was supposed to come out last year. So I've been waiting to hear any type of news or information on when that update is actually going to come out. This article is stating it's going to come out basically in the fall of this year. And I feel like that's that's kind of late. I'm a little upset about that. I was hoping it would come out earlier. Um, let's see. Battlefield 5, Metro Exodus. And then something really interesting is Banjo-Kazooie Anniversary. If this is true, if they're coming out with a Banjo-Kazooie anniversary game this year, I want to see a complete reworking of this game in graphics, uh, gameplay, and whatnot. Really bring it up to this generation. I will be really excited for that. Again, if this is true. Now, 2019, um, just going real quick. Uh, Borderlands 3, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, a game called Electric Madness, which is a racing game and they have it slated to go into game pass as well so i'm thinking that might be that uh kart racing game by turn 10 that they're kind of introducing into the the forza franchise so that would be interesting if that's the case splinter cell reboot open world first on xbox one fall of 2019 now i'm not sure how i feel about open world um I don't think every game needs to be open world and that that might be 
a thought that's in the minority right now, but there there's certain nuances and, and stuff when it comes to a more um, directional game than open world. But Splinter Cell Reboot Anthem coming out fall 2019. Here's something interesting. Halo Genesis, uh, which they state here as a reboot. And I don't think you need to reboot the Halo franchise. And I and I feel like they have a a story moving forward that they, they want to tell. A saga. So I don't believe that it's a reboot. But it could possibly be a, a spin-off that, that focuses more on um, the new Spartan program. You know the Spartan program where they're not kidnapping kids and injecting them with drugs and making them super soldiers. But uh, it's kind of like... You know people uh kind of elect to try to join the spartan program and and then you know the elite of the elite are kind of like picked from that group um it, it would be cool to see a spin-off focusing on that uh that program as opposed to the earlier spartan program where they were kidnapping kids and stuff like that so that would be interesting again if true now they have cyberpunk 27 2077 coming out 2019 and then the last one they talk about is joanna dark um a third person shooter uh game teaser and trailer and set to release in 2019 now um that might be another one of the worst kept secrets is that they've been fiddling around with uh kind of like rebooting perfect dark and and for people who don't know joanna dark is the main character in perfect dark and i i think it's just it's inevitable that it's going to happen do i think it's going to happen and release in 2019 basically next year that remains to be seen guys like i said this is an article that uh again shout out to predator h2o's he sent me in a dm um it's interesting but i'm not going to take it as gospel either it's it's not the holy grail it's not <clears throat> i'm not sure you know how much of it is accurate but it's something that you know we could get out there uh i put a video out definitely hit up the comments i want to know what you think about these games uh 2018 2019 a halo called genesis um which could possibly be a spin-off coming out in 2019 and also i believe with the halo genesis it talked about a multiplayer beta that would be coming out in 2018 so a multiplayer beta coming out this year and the game releasing in 2019 um that sounds about right to me it's something i could get excited about i'm a huge fan of of halo 5 i love the multiplayer for halo 5 so as long as they follow kind of like um that recipe for the multiplayer it would be it would be really cool to have a, a a new halo at least a beta to get into this year but as usual guys hit up the comment section let me know what you what you think about this uh go in the description uh click on the link for the article i will put it um i will put it in the description below and and just share your thoughts and your opinions and what you think you might see this year at e3 for xbox um, as usual guys if you like the topics you like the gameplay right here you're seeing uh my gameplay from last week's next podcast i have no idea how i didn't win the voting on that one but here it is right here in all its splendor um if if you like the gameplay you like the topics definitely hit that thumbs up button for me and if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe but as for now this is the xbox 448 and i am definitely signing off. Trying to get demons up out of me. Turn to a beast, eat your arteries. Deceasing opponents so properly. Unleashing the dark side, what got to me? We come to take this shit over.